Kobe Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so um, we're here at VidCon uh, promoting. Hi, my name is Noah Centineo. And I'm Lana Condor. And Lana and I ate cheeseburgers before the big kiss. Oh. There's a lot of big kisses, but like before, like one one particular kiss, we ate a lot of cheeseburgers, and you know it tasted like cheeseburgers. No mince, just cheeseburgers. No mince, all cheese. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, can I take a picture of you so that Santa knows what I want for Christmas? Or this pastel lamp. Say pastel. You say pa say what? Pastel. You pastel. said pastel. Pa yeah, pa pa like you made it sound so pa regal. I mean, pastel in its own mm. right is very regal. Regal. Right on. I learned a lot. You know, I definitely learned a lot. But also just like looking at. And learning from Lana, I mean, she's so deeply <laughs> talented you know, on the dramatic side and the comedic side. When you watch this film, you will see it's saturated with her reactions. <laughs> like these little ism faces that she makes, and oh, they're so funny. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, how do you approach the, I want to say the awkward stuff, but, or is it awkward? It's not. I mean, you know, I think it could be, but Noah and I clicked instantly, and we had a lot of chemistry from day one. What happened? You fainted. <sighs> I went in for pre-reads for the audition process, and I look up, and I see this gorgeous, tall, beautiful man that is Noah walk through the door, and I was like, not today. Like, and I kept reading my signs, like, I will not get distracted, I will not get distracted. And I start feeling his presence coming toward me, he sits down right next to me, and he's like, hey, so like, you wanna read lines together? And I was like, no, sorry. Do you remember the most embarrassing moment you have been through at school? I kept calling my, my teacher throughout, my different teachers throughout elementary school. I w there was at least one time a year, and I, I always was so afraid that it would happen because I knew it was going to happen at least once every year. <laughs> Self-fulfilling prophecy, where I would look at my teacher and I would say, Mom? No! <laughs> yeah, it happened once every year every from kindergarten to fifth grade. And, um, <laughs> and every year, it never got better. Tough. I think... I think my most mem memorable moment was doing our scene, like our audition scene when we actually shot that. That was very cool for me to kind of see something come off the page and what it actually is supposed to look like. That I want to fuck, 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 but I'm broken hearted. <laughs> oh, that one. Oh, yeah, it's okay. a really sick song. Who cares about people? <laughs> <laughs> Um, do, you think you're do you think you're an extrovert? I charge introvertedly, and then I like well, yeah. super outgoing. He I really like, like has this. a great grasp on his personality, as, as we can tell. The moment he walked through the door, he was like, hey! <laughs> so I turned him down in the first place, but then our chemistry got a lot better. I mean, to this day, like I think he's the greatest guy ever, so I, I, it was not hard being his co-star at all. <laughs> I have a huge crush on him. I like to think he has a crush on me, but you know, whatever. But he's amazing. He's an amazing guy and he's so talented and he's really about, he's like blown up. Do I know you? You look a lot like my next girlfriend. Ah! Reality, would you guys have handled the situation any different? Um... I think if someone was trying to be petty with my shoes, I'm a little bit more like <laughs> than Laura is, I'd be like, say it back. I don't think I would ever date somebody that would do yeah. that. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm a hopeless romantic some days and a hopeful one on others, uh -huh. and, and uh, currently I'm open to to whatever comes my way, but I'm definitely not into, like, forcing something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I you like know, that. If it's right, it's right, and if it's not, it's not. Yeah, All exactly. Right. But I read you don't check your DMs. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're most likely to meet their soulmate on, a, on YouTube or social media. You. Me. Yeah, yeah, me. Do you like slide into people's DMs? No, 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 <laughs> no, no. But like, I, I, I wouldn't put it past myself to like meet the love of my life via Instagram. A lot of money. I was the reason that you realized your sister had a crush on your ex-boyfriend who you broke up with. But we actually had really wonderful chemistry, and we spent so much time with each other off of, like, out of work. Yeah. That, and we actually, like, we went to the hot tub all the time, like, in our apartments and stuff. So it was, it, the transition was super easy to bring that to camera. So I, I, I was so blessed to have worked with him. He's a wonderful guy. Jenny, you know, to the directors, to the writing, everything was checked and rechecked and drafted and redrafted and really paid attention to. And then we just got to come in there and we were, we were guided. So if it's, we if it's terrible, if it's terrible, <laughs> really blame everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
In My Feelings by Drake. Which one's that? Is that Kiki, okay. do you love me? Don't be afraid to love. Don't be afraid to love in the first place if you've never done it before. But more importantly, don't be afraid love. to accept love. That's and, hard. And, and to, this is a big one is don't be afraid to love again. Mm. Because if you can learn to love another person after you've loved someone totally and had your heart broken, and yet you still find it again, that is to me one of the most powerful yeah. lessons a human Absolutely. being can learn on this yeah. planet. Definitely. Well, I walked in on him taking naps all the time, but like that wasn't embarrassing. Does he snore? That was Does he snore? No, he he lays very Does sweetly. He... Are you a cat? Because I'm like feline. The connection between us. I'll give you like five points. Best first date. So this was when I lived at the W. The W Hotel residence side has a really cool rooftop. Sweet pool, big W. She, she'd come over, uh, you know, late afternoon, sometime close to sunset, or just before. And I said, bring a book. And we traded. I gave her uh, Celestine Prophecy. And she gave me You Are The One by Coop Flaxen. And we read for like, Three hours. I love being sentimental and remembering things. It's like it's, I literally am a sentimentalist, and that's all I do. So, this is fantastic. So yeah. August seventeenth. August seventeenth. To all the boys. Of love love. I'm not like Netflix. Hire me, please hire me again. <laughs> but for right now, I don't have anything on the yeah. horizon with them except for to all the boys I've loved before. August seventeenth. <laughs> August seventeenth. <laughs> Only on Netflix. <laughs> Only on Netflix. Right. Watch it. Globally. Globally. Worldwide. All at once. <laughs> again and again. <laughs> it's an instantaneous thing. Yes. And that's that.